Got my forward roll. We're gonna have them start on the cheese mat. Stand up tall like a tree. Hands, we're gonna bend at the waist, so we're gonna put our hands down on the mat. Have them look at their belly button. Like roll, and then they're gonna have their arms up, and stand up and finish again tall like a tree. A drill for this is when they're learning rock and rolls, they're gonna grab the knees, rock and roll. Then they're gonna start in a squat shape and have them no hands, rock, roll, back to no hands, and stand up tall like a tree. That way they have the whole end of their forward roll. All right, we're gonna learn the progression to a backward roll. I'll sit on the mat, arms back behind their hair, elbows in, and tell them to look at their belly button. When you're spotting this, you're gonna spot their hips to help take the pressure off their head. So you're gonna have them roll over with their knees to their knees. Again, lifting their hips. As they do that, you're gonna ask them to be able to do that to their feet. See if they remember where to put their hands back, look at their belly button, roll over, and land on feet. Very nice. Independently, if they can do that, then they're gonna start on the mat or halfway on the mat. We're gonna ask her to do halfway on the mat in a squat shape. Hands back, then she's gonna sit, roll, find her feet, awesome. And then on the floor, once they can do this safely on the floor. Squat, hands back, roll, push and feet and stand up. Awesome. That's the first thing we're gonna have the kids do. Again, we have to make sure that their favorite leg is their favorite leg. It should be fairly obvious, but um, it'll be the same leg as their cartwheel leg. So a lunge means the back leg's straight and the front leg's bent and their arms are up. So we're gonna bend and lever to touch the ground. Their leg always stays a little bent and lever to come back up to that lunge. Again, this leg stays bent the whole time. Their arm goes down as their leg goes up and then their leg goes down as their arms come up. As they get that, they're gonna do kicking off the ground in that. So it's gonna be a giant lever, kick, and come back up into that shape. They need to look at their hands on the floor to be able to stay strong. Okay, so we're gonna discuss the introductory cartwheel. Um, so we've got a cartwheel mat here. It has hand placements. You hard to decide sometimes when kids are lefties or righties. So you're just gonna ask them which one feels more proper to them. So we're gonna introduce the cartwheel hop. So they're gonna come to the mat, they're gonna put their hands down, placing their hands on the hands sideways and jump their two feet over together to the other side. 